Now Banshee, as you can see, has beautiful white fur with a full complement of tiger stripes. Keep in mind again, those stripes are not just there to be decorative. That is her, her, her camouflage. Tigers are very large, very heavy stalk and ambush hunters with almost no staying power. That means they've got to catch their food very, very quickly or they're going to miss. So those stripes are going to help her blend into her environment so that she can sneak up on whatever prey item she's after. That being said, tigers, a full-grown tiger in his prime, is a powerful enough cat <laughs> to bring down a small elephant or even a rhinoceros, but not unless they get close. Another reason behind these stripes, identification. Each tiger has his or her very own pattern of stripes, like a fingerprint, and they do go all the way to the skin, which means if you were to shave a tiger, you would have a very large, very angry striped cat. A banshee is approximately only about 14 months old, so considered a cub. Imagine mom in the wild having to take care of two or three of these young cubs. Awfully tough duty when mom can barely Oh, now Banshee weighs in at about, uh, about 180 pounds. She's going to put on another 80 pounds at least. When she was born, bo the tigers are born at one pound, tiny little babies. You're but they put a one. half a pound a day on in their growth pattern. They've got to grow into those three to 500 pound frames in 20 months where it takes us 20 years to grow into our adult frame. I just know by the end of the day, she's going to push me right off this stage. Come back they, and see they, they us again. They want to see that. Right? And again, if you get a 